let's see if we get it about like that okay now now we've got the polar axis lined up with the our 25 degree angle um, so if you were in St. Louis for the eclipse you'd use that 8 degree along a north-south road to do the same thing um, but, uh, um, okay I think the Sun is uh, not going to be visible but I'll uh, point it as best I can to it but I've been counting on the, the Sun's shadow on the ground this telescope makes a circular shadow at the back end and you just put that circular shadow in the um, you know aim the center of the camera to the circular shadow and then uh, it doesn't take much fishing around to to get the sun in the field of view uh, all without a finder scope and so um, anyway that's that's enough for now okay it's uh, June 20th now another uh, um, only slightly hazy day you know, pretty good for the Sun is now at 64 degrees elevation and um, you know as you can see I've uh, got the polar alignment um, lined up uh, with the 25 degree um, uh, little piece of paper there uh, so um, because the uh, the uh, this long uh, board in our deck is 25 degrees to the west of due south uh, so um, the only problem is though um, the telescope is set up for afternoon of viewing so we have to move it to the other side since it's now morning um, uh, 11 30 just after 11 30 a.m eastern daylight time um, okay we'll pause for now okay before i can properly flip the telescope um, I need to move the um, slow motion control on the right ascension to the other side. Um, and for that I need a filter. Okay, I've now got the sun centered and it's under con control. Um, but you can see we're just almost scraping the ground, not quite here, um, with the bottom of the uh, camera. Um, uh, so with a focal reducing lens it would be up higher um, or with a smaller camera but uh, anyway the uh, um, the uh, knob almost uh, gets in the way of the uh, um, axis there so um, the uh, you know, but uh, it'll be a little different uh, on eclipse day because the sun's declination won't be so high you know, this is the first day of summer here, uh, so I think it'll work better. But um, I can make the small adjustments needed, and uh, you can see that on the screen here. That's in the uh, RA, and here is the longest way, and we have the time inserter going. <coughs> so, pretty much the same setup as before have this to turn on the camcorder and here's the mini EQ mount with the uh, 80 millimeter uh, short focus refractor and a, uh, a case to give us some shade black folding case <coughs> and there the, pliers that are giving us the counterweight because the regular weight is just too big um, and this this is quite controllable at this altitude where the sun is about 41 degrees 40 degrees high uh, so we'll, we'll try it uh, um, tomorrow at um, around 60 degrees that the eclipse altitude will occur to make sure the system is stable this small system so um, that's all for now.